do? Like how this all started, just sharing cars, enjoying driving environments. I mean, we're in the UK. It's, well, we're approaching the end of September and it's sunny. I mean, it's properly sunny. So welcome back. Now, as the title would suggest, this video is more of an update video and also questions to you. I want to hear your feedback. Now, this is quite an interesting period of time just before big things start to happen. Uh, we'll go into that in a little more detail shortly. Um, but this this right now is an interesting tipping point. I feel like I owe you guys an update, uh, mostly because things are about to get big. Uh, and I want to recap as to where things have been, where we've come from, how things have evolved and what's coming next. Uh, the first thing I want to address is the TDF. Now, <laughs> it seems that it doesn't matter what content that I put up right now, uh, there's, without fail, many multiple comments yeah, that's all very nice, dude, but where's the TDF? And I fully agree with you, uh, the poor thing is sat in my garage uh, waiting to be driven. Now, the nature of this game, the nature of YouTube, uh, it's heavily content driven, which means whenever I get the uh, opportunity or the invite from uh, a car brand or a person to do something exciting, chances are I'm on the first plane out of here to go and do that thing uh, to A, experience it for myself, but of course B, bring you guys that content and that insight into interesting and exciting and exotic locations and things. Case in point, I recently came back from Vancouver in Canada. It was my first experience exploring the supercar world and culture over there, which obviously in turn that I brought to you guys and shared with you. But immediately after that, I came back and then flew to Hungary. I was in Budapest for the launch of McLaren 600 LT and then I immediately flew from there to Portugal for Lamborghinis Aventador SVJ. All wonderful experiences and great content to share with you guys. The nature of it though is that I'm never at home. Landing from that flight from Portugal was my 70th flight this year. 7-0. 70th flight this year. Uh, I only realized that when I look back and I was looking at my sort of air miles and points and I looked back and I was like, oh my god, like, I, I'm, I'm just not at home. And that's the number one reason why I am yet to have made the first drive video with the TDF. It's simply because I'm not here. Combined with, I had a very grand plan that um, revolved around some other partners, some third party partners, uh, were integral to the orchestration of making the first drive video of the TDF. Uh, and this is what happens when you rely on other people, it basically falls apart. <laughs> because the more people involved, generally the more uh, margin for error there is. And lo and behold, I was let down and the, the time that I had allocated to creating the first drive video ultimately fell apart, which I'm very sorry about that. And I'm gutted because I wanted to bring this to you as soon as I possibly could, but it fell apart. So ultimately right now, I'm trying to look for an opportunity to make that first drive video with the TDF. Now hear me out as to why it's important to me to make a special video with that car. There's two reasons. First of all, the creativity side of things is what I kind of love the most. I love being creative when it comes to car content, particularly when it comes to special cars. Now the TDF for me, and I hopefully for you guys, is a very special car. And one day we're going to look back on the history of cars and the F12 TDF, certainly in the, the supercar space and in the history of Ferrari, is going to be one of those more prominent special cars that we look back on in history and go, that was a special car. And there's only going to be a finite amount of properly produced content that surrounds that car. And I would love for the content that we create with that car to be one of those iconic pieces of content that sort of historically support that vehicle. After I've made that, we'll, we'll pump out loads of adventures with that car. But the first drive video for me is something that I really want to do that car justice. And so it's not something that I just want to step out of my front door and drive and bring you the average video, which is what I'm doing right now, effectively just talking in the car. I want it to be a special video in a beautiful environment, uh, ideally with great weather. Now, the irony of that is it's never this sunny this time of year in England. Uh, and while I could be making that video, there's a few other components to fit around it that I feel like that car 
deserves. So I'm afraid you're just gonna have to bear with me while I piece everything together and find a slot to do that car justice. The other thing is, when I uh, filmed the uh, Speciali first drive, I managed to make a great first drive video. We had drones and lovely camera angles and I think it was a really immersive experience into why that car was special. And I don't want to do the TDF a disservice. I don't want to be like, okay, next car, I'll jump in and talk about it, go. I want to put heart and soul into it. And that's what I'm passionate about. And you guys deserve it. You guys support this channel so much that when we have access to special cars, I don't want it to be a blase experience. I want it to... This channel started because I always wanted to put as many of you as possible in the driver's seat. And I've hopefully done that by conveying these emotions and feelings and what these cars are like through as many descriptive words as possible. And the TDF for me is one of the all-time greats that deserves that level of respect and emotion for you guys. So, more than anyone, believe me, I am dying, physically aching to produce content with that car. Um, not having the time is the one, people letting me down is the other one, but wanting to do it justice is the main thing. So believe me when I say, more than anything, I'm focusing on trying to get that done. Uh, case in point, I now go to Wyoming next week for a very special car launch. Um, it's the other side of the world for me. It's a big special car launch. Um, and that's one more week that I am once again away from the TDF. So. It's just a time thing, but I'm working on it now with new partners to make this happen. So please bear with me, and I hope when I do eventually drop that video, you guys will really enjoy it. And then the next thing, uh, the GT3. So, what have we done now? Over 5,374 5, miles as of this video. The majority of that has come from road trips. Uh, one was the Gumball Rally, the other was the Supercar Club Arabia Tour, which I did through Europe. Um, and honestly, road trip mileage has taken up the most mileage of this car. I absolutely love this thing. Uh, it just ticks every box. And the more I spend with it, the more I've realized that while on paper, this doesn't seem like a great evolution from my previous Gen 1 991 GT3, uh, the, the sum of its parts of this car, the evolution of every component has made it such a special thing. The engine is basically a cup car engine. So much torque, so much presence. But the next step for this car is an exhaust. Now, I do have a Sharkworks exhaust sat ready to be fitted at home. It's being fitted next month, uh, and I can't wait to share it with you. The acceleration sound of this car almost doesn't need changing, but it's the downshifts. The downshifts on this seem to be quite muted and it, it has stripped away just a level of engagement which I would otherwise really like. Just when you downshift like that, that pure roar isn't there that you actually get from this sound. You hear the difference, like the downshift doesn't quite have that lovely uh, engine tone that this thing deserves. So we're going to unlock that, unlock its true potential soon uh, with an exhaust fitment and then there is uh, the biggest project that I've ever undertaken ever is going to be announced in October. I don't want to give too much away right now, uh, but it's more car stuff. It's not detracting from the, the channel in any way. In fact, if anything, it's going to add a load more content and a very uh, different, consistent uh, storyline that will regularly appear on this channel. So what I would love for you to do is to subscribe to this channel because I really do not want you to miss out on what is to come. Now, on that note, on the note of subscribing, um, YouTube has, I don't know why they've done it, but they've basically developed this system where even if you're a subscriber, you're not gonna get alerts to the videos that go live. So hear me out. When you subscribe, that's you basically showing your interest. You might as well be liking it rather than subscribing because the algorithm has changed in such a way that when a new video does go live, you're actually going to get an alert every now and again, or basically when the algorithm feels like it. It's the equivalent of subscribing to a magazine and them only sending you a copy when they feel like it. That's basically what's happening right now. The way around that is if you go back to my channel's homepage, go to the subscription bell, compress it, and go get all alerts. If you please 
go there and you care about the content and you care about this channel, you'll get much more regular updates to when I publish new content. It turns out that basically 10% of you guys are getting regular alerts, which is crackers. And it's such a shame, it's almost soul destroying because we put all of this effort into creating great content for you guys. This channel is about to hit 400,000 subscribers, by the way, which I'm eternally thankful and shocked about. Uh, to think about how this channel has grown over the years is insane, and to think that we're about to click over to 400,000 subscribers, thank you so much. But unfortunately, only about 40,000 of you are actually gonna get any form of regular updates uh, as to when new content goes live. So it would mean the world to me if you could support this channel, go to notifications and just click to get alerts for regular content because basically I'm uploading this stuff to the ether and hardly any of you wonderful petrol heads are seeing this content. And I'm about to step my game up and bring you some really special stuff that I really don't want you to miss. So please hit that bell and make sure to subscribe to all alerts. And now here's the big one. So I really want to hear from you guys. Uh, we are approaching, in December, this channel will be three years old. It still feels super fresh. And every time I click that record button and begin creating content, I'm still super excited. I, it feels like day one. But what I'm aware of is that I'm always constantly wanting to up my game and evolve the channel. Now, a few comments that I picked up on recently is actually counterproductive to that mindset in a way that people are saying, oh, you know, I liked it when it was just you and your cars and you were just going about your day. Now, so do I. I kind of miss that. From a convenience point of view, it was incredible. I just used to step outside of my door and film with my cars. But quite honestly, I live in the middle of the countryside, which is amazing for driving cars. But after a while, you reach this, this apex, as it were, where there's only so much you can do with your own cars in an environment like this. Yes, you can drive the nuts off them and enjoy them on these wonderful flowing country roads, but it's not the most conducive to bringing fresh content in the long run. What I want to hear from you guys is the kind of content that you love. What would you like to see more of? I have a vision as to where I'd like to take this channel. And as I mentioned, in October next month, there is gonna be the biggest announcement I've ever made with regards to this channel, um, which will certainly affect the content and the access that we get to cars. But alongside that, I just wanna hear what you guys, this, this channel is while I am uh, personally motivated from a creativity side of things, ultimately, I'm not, I wouldn't be here unless it was for you guys. And I wanna ultimately service the kind of content that you guys want. And I just wanna hear in sort of concrete evidence of words, the kind of stuff that you guys love watching. Is it my own personal journey? Is it car launches? One thing I'm aware of when it comes to, you know, new car drives, new car launches, is that every man and his dog gets invited on this thing. And yes, we all bring our own opinion, try and make them uh, each launch and each car as individual as possible but nothing's as individual as your own journey right and that's how this channel started it was my own content uh, and that seemed to get real great interest and engagement from you guys so as we're approaching three years in a few months time uh, I just thought it'd be interesting to reevaluate but get ultimate feedback from the people that matter which is you guys I just want to hear I just want to hear from you guys what you want to see. Now, I'm, I'm purposely not putting a great amount of editing effort into this video right now because it is a direct addressing. It's an update that I feel you guys deserve uh, and also an opportunity that you guys deserve to give back to me to sort of help craft this channel to see it go the way you want it to go. So please, if you're watching as far as this video, we're probably 15 minutes in now, let me know. I really value your opinion more than anything because that's what this is all about. It's community. What differentiates YouTube and social media from everything is that word social. If you don't engage, we're just a broadcast platform where you guys are passively consuming it. Get engaged. We're a big, passionate Petrolhead family uh, that I want to have a two-way dialogue with. I want you guys to be able to feedback and go, yeah, this is the kind of stuff we want. Is it personal journeys? You know, also, there's one other thing. When I started the channel, in order to, I guess, differentiate myself and differentiate the way this channel was going, was to 
put a little bit more effort into the editing quality. Now in that time, I think the demand for content is such that um, everyone has stepped up their game and the differentiation between content isn't as big as it was when I started three years ago. And you can really put a lot more effort into the production quality side of things um, and people were uh, rewarded for that. But these days, everyone's stepping up their game as a result of competition in this space. And so this is why I'm asking really, what is it that you wanna see? Is it quality, quantity? Is it a balance of both? The reason that I only put out sort of three videos a week is because you can't do the quality and quantity. It's just an impossible formula. Unless you have a team working for you and then who knows where it'll go. What I wanna know is, would you guys rather see more regular updates from my personal journey rather than me going to new car launches and putting loads of effort into the quality of the production. I guess, not saying that I'm necessarily gonna go daily, but I could give you more content if it wasn't full of music montages and posh edits, that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that it would be rough and ready, but it might not necessarily be ultra posh with drones that type of thing. So let me know below because I would like to give you guys more content and I'd love to grow the channel's, um, I guess, perspective so it's not just supercar focused. There's so much more that comes with cars. There's a massive wider lifestyle and culture that comes with these things that isn't just about the cars themselves. And I'd love to share that. And if you want to see it, let's do it. Oh, I've got an open stretch of road. Bear with me. this engine this engine and you know what? it gets better with age it's like a fine wine it actually frees up and gets better with age but this is the problem the downships need to have a bit more grit exhaust coming soon anyway I digress uh, yeah this is ultimately a one-on-one -on -one chat with you guys um, uh, we're about to tip over to 400,000 subscribers I want to say the biggest thank you a 400,000 you know, when we go online, we see these numbers and we see these figures and we just scroll past them like they're just another bunch of figures. Um, and it's not until you quantify them into something like a stadium size that you really think, hold on a minute, that's, that's a lot of humans, <laughs> you know? Um, the only thing I could do is say thank you so much. And this is the, the sort of apex content where I ask the ultimate of you guys to give back to craft this channel and help us take it to the next level together. This is what it's all about, togetherness. So please feedback. Um, I do not want you to miss the big update coming soon. That is huge for me. Uh, it's a risk, it's a big risk. Um, I can only say that the investment from many levels, time, financially, and uh, emotionally will be huge. But I hope that you guys enjoy the angle, which will be launched soon, once again. So you don't miss that. Make sure that you get the notifications. Go on to that little bell, otherwise you're not gonna see it. Um, and then there's actually a project that's gonna come after that as well, which arguably is even bigger than that, which I haven't mentioned yet. That's kind of insider info stuff that I will uh, elaborate on soon. But things are going big. But what's important to me is that I don't detract from the roots of it. And I guess that's what the update of this channel is kind of all about. So yeah, this isn't your regular Mr. JWW curated content. This is me talking directly to you as a chat in the car saying thank you. Looking for feedback is where you want it to go next because you guys are everything. Uh, you are the oxygen to my channel and I, I just can't thank you enough for helping me take it and grow it to where it is right now. So yes, we are now at the precipice of big things to come. This is the calm before the storm. I've been home for a few days. There's been admin going on in the background in prepping for the chaos, which is about to be unleashed on this channel. Let me know. If you've made it this far through the video, thanks very much for watching all basically 20 minutes of it. I'm now gonna drop a few cogs, immerse myself in this sunshine and flat six. I shall see you next time.